Have you ever thought the quarry sites suck and fall out? Well, this mod, Better Quarry Sites by Lucid APs, basically gives you a complete retexture of the quarry site. Everything from the stairs to that gurney over there. It's a mod worth checking out. This mod is Alternate Settlements version 0.8. The one I'm currently using I think is 0.6, not sure. For best results, build in the following order. Floors, walls, wall frame, second story, rugs, wallpapers. And I think it's best to follow what this mod author has to say. I haven't gone in depth with this. I've been messing with it for a week. I'm not really an interior designer. I'm the type of guy who leads a charge in a battle or something. This mod adds a total of 350 new standalone items, including snappable carpets, snappable wallpapers, snappable ceiling wallpapers, roofs, walls, windows, floors, foundations, flags, sides, wallpaper snapping for our walls, wallpaper snapping for our roofs and ceilings, carpet snapping for our floors, and much more. I think this is best used completely with their furnishings. I tried using it with uh, the vanilla sort of home parts, and it it works kinda but they're just something it just it just sometimes comes off bad because I don't think it was designed in mind for most vanilla crap but the flags can go just about anywhere and I think they're fantastic this is a great mod and if you're really into creation and building your own home just try this mod just do it you have to it's just that good Here is another one of my personal favorite mods, Spring Cleaning by Never Jobs. Now what this mod basically does is it allows you to remove any clutter from your settlements. Have you ever noticed you couldn't sweep up some leaves or take some roots away from where you garden? This mod allows you to do that. It also gives you more freedom to take more stuff out of certain settlement areas that you couldn't get rid of beforehand. The drawback is that it may affect your any file and this in the long run could affect your you know gameplay experience your frames in certain areas that are heavily dense with stuff that you may have deleted um, now the other drawback is the cell shader version this one won't have the frame reduction but there's a good shot that if you have like power armor or certain things like you modified in using this mod when the game reloads again your power armor could reset to its defaults or it could reset to something totally else like if you got a frame of power armor that originally was for like uh i don't know a t45 but you have t51 armor this has happened to me then you go back to your game and then your t51 armor becomes t45 armor and it's just lost this tasty morsel of a mod is functional weapon racks display your collection by secret agent 99 if you remember the whole you know fallout trailers remember you you go in and then boom there goes like the weapon rack next to the t60b armor well this mod sets to recreate that it's a great mod but the downside is before you download it you know if you use this with other craftable mods like i do version 1.09 uh there's known issues with this and other craftable mods now this is not the mod author's fault or any other mod author's fault it's just the limited nature of the game engine so you may have to settle for only one or two craftable mods not all of them because the results could just who knows what could happen to your game so keep that in mind if you're using more than one craftable mod like i am but i live on the edge i do what i want i fear nothing yeah i'm a badass lays in bed next to cat alone in the darkness editing this video for you because you can't seem to find where the hell the stop button is well don't forget to rate comment subscribe remember following me is like the right thing to do because we're like showing the terrorists that they haven't won. God, that's not a great selling point. Shit. I'm a freedom fighter. Follow me. I'm the John Lennon of video gaming.